Hey there and welcome to this tutorial for blackbeltproject.com and I wanted to use this video here to kind of explain what a Gravatar is and how to set one up on uh, Gravatar.com so that when you go to the um, to the Black Belt Project and you make any uh, and you participate in the community your actual picture will show up so the first thing is is that at gravatar.com you'll see here where it's a free service and uh, here's some sample gravatars you can see these people have these are samples that people have uploaded either you know that they have identified or you know put up on their own you know and here's a picture you know each one you'll notice is uh, a face this guy has a cartoon to represent him and uh, you know that's okay too I know a lot of times people are you know, they don't want to show their actual face and either through privacy or because they're a little self-conscious about you know how they feel like they look and if you want to use a, you know a cartoon or if you want to use a picture of an animal's face I know I'm in one group where a guy uses a, a bulldog to represent his avatar and, and his personality is a lot like a bulldog he's kind of really direct and uh, straightforward and um, so I think it's a good idea to have a gravatar so that when you're in the community and you know if you have a look over here like in the forums you'll notice like in this thread here you can see that I have one established for me and then um, Tina here was who was kind of asking about it hasn't uh, got one so when you don't have one associated with the email address that you signed up with at the Black Belt Project then what's going to happen is you're going to see this little icon that shows just a little member and then, you know, if I look down a little farther here, I can see, um, you know, Gordon hasn't actually set one up, but Julie has, and, you know, uh, our friend from the Netherlands here, I'm not sure if that's his, if that's his name, or if that's K. Hildare, or, uh, so I apologize if I screwed that up. Uh, and also, if you make comments on the site, you'll see here in these comments, like here, Luke made a comment, you can see he has a picture next to his, um, comment you know just like I do and if you don't there'll be just a little icon there I think when you're working in uh, the black belt project within the member area it's really nice to kind of have uh, an identity as opposed to just having um, you know an icon that represents who you are you know when there's no it's just generic generic so, well, you know, I don't necessarily think, you know, it has to be required or anything. I think it just provides a way to build the community in a way that everybody can kind of relate to, to each other. And, and uh, so when you go to Gravatar.com, what you'll have to do is set up a profile at the very top here. There's a way to do that. You can sign up. It's, it's free. And then what you'll do is you'll set up, you know, you'll log in with your, your email address. And whatever email address you set up at Gravatar.com, has to be the same email address that you set up for that you signed up for the Black Belt Project. Now the neat thing about it is is that inside Gravatar you can have more than one email address and you can have different pictures associated with each one of them. So if you're like me and you have several different email addresses uh, then you, you, know, you can associate a different picture with each one. Now uh, it's pretty straightforward setting it up. You know if you have any problems in doing that uh, you know, be sure and let me know. I think the hardest part is just actually getting your picture to show up right. I had a problem when I first did it, getting the resolution exactly the way I wanted it. And so just a few tips here, like what I did, let me go back here because I kind of practiced this earlier. This is uh, a picture uh, that I had. Now what I did is I took the original picture here and I put it in paint, which is on uh, PC and Microsoft, um, you know, their operating system. And so I click the view tab here and I zoom out so that I can see the whole picture. And so, you know, this picture in its own is, is I think, a couple thousand pixels wide. You know, if I go in here and I hit resize and I hit pixels, you can see, you know, it's 2,800 pixels by 2,100 pixels, which is, um, too big to upload, I think, to Gravatar. There's a size limit. So what I discovered was there's a way to get exactly the size picture you want so that it shows up real sharp. 
no matter what resolution it's uh, your size that the gravatar shows it because uh, like if you go to uh, you know the black belt project here and you go to the main page I've actually used the gravatar in my sidebar and you know depending on the size that is displayed on the site that you're in you can see over here you know the resolutions pretty good now the way you go about doing that is when you get your picture um, you want to use this little crop button here, this little select. Actually, it's just select. And then you want to try and make uh, as perfect a square as you can. And then when you do that, then after you do that, then you will crop it. And then you'll go into resize and then hit pixels again. And you can see I'm off a little bit. My vertical needs to be a little bit more. So I can hit undo until I get just about a perfect square. So let's see. That might be a little narrow. Uh, that's not too bad. So you know, let's uh, reduce that down to... I've got maintain aspect ratio clicked here. If I hit 128... You can see it's 128 by 132. You know, for uh, the one I actually did, I went through and I got it perfect, and then I hit OK. And then you can see it's kind of small here. If I hit View again and 100%, you can see it's almost exactly the size. Well, it's, it's 128 pixels by 128 pixels. And then you just save that, and then that's the image that you can use, and that gets you the best resolution possible on Gravatar whenever it's shown anywhere and there's some other things about Gravatar that you could do but you know like include information about your profile it's meant to be just kind of one place where you can identify and then where if you go to any other sites that use Gravatar which a lot of these WordPress sites do uh, whenever you make a comment then your picture will be beside your comment if you're using the email address that you've associated at Gravatar.com so um, anyway, I hope that tutorial helps explain what a Gravatar is and kind of why I think it's important and how to set it up. And if you got any tips about how to, you know, make it better or don't quite understand something, just be sure and let me know and I'll be happy to uh, try and clarify that for you. So um, anyway, hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you in another video.